Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, I basically wanted to do a look for something that's a little bit more toned down because I know my past year looks have been a little bit more dramatic. So um, this is a very um, green, yellow inspired kind of a look. I really wanted to use a uh, lighter colour this time around. It may not be your idea of toned down because um, the colours are quite dark but this is my idea of light makeup actually. Um, anyway, um, Stay tuned and also don't forget to subscribe, especially if you're living in Singapore. I'm having contests or giveaways starting really soon in September. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoy. So first step, you want to prep your eyelids. I've already prepped my eyelids with um, Paint Pot um, by MAC, laying low. So the first colour, um, of course, is your highlight. Uh, just use any regular, I'm just going to use a fluffy brush like this. It doesn't have to be, you know, any particular brand. Sometimes a lot of drugstore brands actually work pretty well. So just apply it at your highest point of your arc. Then just blend it downwards. You want to apply it up to your crease basically, about here, so that the other colors blend in a lot more easily. Okay, now the first color, you can either use um, any lime green you have. I'm going to use um, Bitter by MAC. Again, just another regular flat brush. It's got no brand to it. So remember, in order to get the colours to be more vivid, you want to pack on the colours. Don't pull the colours across. So just dab it on. And just pack the colours on. You want to pack the colours on rather than just pulling because you're just wiping it all away then. Okay. So now what you're going to do now is apply it onto your lid about maybe halfway to three quarter. And then a little bit high up into your crease. Okay, now what you're going to do next is apply your green. Don't worry about the harsh line here. You can always blend it later on. Um, I'm using an angled brush. Now this one's by MAC. Uh, it's number 275. So basically for the outer corners, it's always best to use an angled brush or anything you can get that is fluffy. Fluffy br br blushes. Fluffy, fluffy brushes. That was a mouthful work very well with blending so I'm using a bit of humid or any other dark green color just start off with the outer corner I'm gonna kind of create a little bit of a V shape like that okay and then just blend it into the lime green Now, um, I'm going to go back for my highlight brush. I'm not getting any more product. I'm just using it to blend. So you basically just want to blend um, and get rid of the harsh line. So just go up and down, like, you know, no particular motion. Just to get rid of the harsh line. And then touch up on the dark green again. I'm going to go ahead and line my lid first. Okay, now once I've lined the top part, I want to line the bottom part as well. So you want to kind of join the the lower lash line to the top part. So I just do a little bit on the lower lash line first. And then with your eyes open, don't close your eyes because you won't know where you're going. So just lift it up. And then just join this down. Okay, now we can add a little bit more darker colors at the outer corner, like how we did here. So I'm going to use the, um, this is the 226. It's a new brush. It came out with the, I think with the color craft. I can't remember which collection it was. So basically, I'm going to use, um, you can either use a darker green or you can go with black. I'm going to use black. Any matte black will be fine. 
so what you're gonna do is just make use make full use of the tip of it to create like an outer corner an outer V so I'm gonna start from below actually and then go up I use I'm using very little product because I don't want to get too dark of a color so at least when you use less product you can always touch up rather than having to remove the excess okay kind of like a v-shape there and I don't really like it too harsh so once you've done the v-shape you can leave it as it is or you can just blend it out a little bit again I'm using the same brush and I'm not adding any more product Now what you can do after you've done your eyebrows and your eyelashes is add a bit of black liner. So I'm going to do it at the lower lash line here. About maybe three quarters to halfway. Okay and then do your waterline. The pencil I'm using is from Stage Cosmetics. Probably one of the best um, eye pencils I've had. I stock up like about five or six pencils at a go because I use it almost every day for myself as well as for my clients. And it's great because it's waterproof and smudge proof. So it pretty much lasts the whole day. Either just leave it as this or you could get with glitter. Now I figured rather than adding green or blue glitter, I'll do something a little bit more toned down by using brown. This is by Too Faced. This is Stockerazi. It's a really nice um, brown shade. I got it from Sephora here in Singapore. I can't remember the price but probably about 30 plus. So you just want to apply it at your lower lash line. I'm using the Makeup Forever brush, the double sided one. Okay, using the angular side, I want to just contour a bit, so I'm going to use um, Raisin by MAC. You can use any darker shade, just slightly darker. For the blusher, I'm going to use, um, this is Spring Sheen. I Now for the lips, um, as usual, I would like to go with something toned down but I'm not going to go nude with the lips, I'm going to go something a bit more natural. So I'm using um, the Stage Lip Liner. Uh, this one is Chocolate Charm. Now you can either leave it as this with a layer of gloss. I'm going to use very glossy lips. Um, it looks very orange neon but it's actually a very sweet colour. So I'm going to just take a little bit. I like it a lot because it's got this really um, mint taste to it so it has a bit of plumping effect on your lips as well so that's it thanks for watching guys